What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I think that <clears throat> lost in the news of Deion Sanders leaving Jackson State for Colorado is the fact that one of his sons, Shiloh Sanders, is um, not too happy about the move to Colorado. I know of Shiloh due to his recruiting because he actually went to the University of South Carolina for like a year. Then he ended up transferring to Jackson State to be with Dion, right? And his brother. So Dion uh, then makes the move to Colorado. Shadir, uh, Shadir seems to be all for it. Uh, there's a video clip going around of Shiloh not being happy that Shadir is wearing a Colorado hat, right? And then you see this story about Shiloh unfollowing Dion and Shadir and not being too happy about the move to Colorado. Now, maybe he has, maybe he likes Colorado, but there's a lot going, uh, not Colorado. He likes Jackson State. But there's a lot of things that went on at Jackson State, man. Like this story that I found here about how Shiloh Sanders' truck window was cut out. And I talked to y'all about the burglaries that went on as far as the football team is concerned. And that might have been one of the reasons, also some other reasons as well, that Dion is like, listen, it's time to go. But Shiloh seems to be comfortable there. And doesn't want to leave. That's why he unfollowed his father and his brother. Now, maybe he'll end up going to Colorado. Maybe he's upset right now. Things could always change. But it doesn't seem to be the case right now. So let's get into the Real Bible article. Deion Sanders' son Shiloh apparently is really unhappy with his father bolting for Colorado. According to Jeff Light, is it Lightsley Jr., Shiloh was reportedly upset that his father was leaving Jackson State for Colorado. For the intel that I was able to gather while I was there, Shiloh's upset. Shiloh has been invested in the city of Jackson and in the school. So when he got the news that his father was moving on to Colorado, apparently him and Coach Prime, his own dad, kind of butted heads. When, when Dion went to Colorado for his press conference, Shadir was with them and his wife was with them, but Shiloh wasn't there. And he talked about how Shiloh was in the doghouse, right? Because I guess Shiloh and him got into it. And maybe Shiloh's at a point to where he was going to play. It, he bought in. He bought into the Jackson State plan and he wants to see it through, right? That's why I say, you know, Shadir and Shiloh are different. I think personally, I think they're different, right? And I think that Shadir will do whatever Dion wants to do. I, I think Shiloh did transfer, transfer from South Carolina to Jackson State. I don't think he wants to go to the Big 12. Oh, excuse me, the Pac-12. I don't think he wants to go to the Pac-12. I think he's comfortable being in the SWAC with his teammates, with the city, because they're like the kings of that campus, of that city. Dion was the king of Jackson, right? His sons were, were sort of like the princes of the city, right? Everywhere they go, they're a big deal. And, you know, in the city that has a lot of black, it matters. HBCU, it matters, right? I think Shiloh seen what people see, what people are saying, and he's like, well, I'm loyal. I want to be here. And Dion is like, you know, it's time to move on. Because we've talked about the things that have gone on. We talked about the fact that, uh, you have uh, burglaries, you have money going missing. You got a situation where, you know, Dion's health, you know, he was ailing and coaching at the same time. I think him and people in the university may not have been getting along because, again, Dion wants certain things. The university, they're probably slow about doing. They did some things, right? They accomplished a great deal for Jackson. Uh, I just think that. It was time for Dion to move on. I think he felt like it was time to move on. People think that he's supposed to be there forever, but that's not what he was going to do. 
During his introductory press conference at Colorado, Dion called out Shiloh, who has currently decided to stay at JSU. Deion Sanders introduced his son, his son Shadir in his opening statement. That's your quarterback. He's going to have to earn it, though. The safety Shiloh made me mad, so I didn't bring him. Son, Junior, stand up. Uh, yeah. He does all our social media, so all the stuff you've been seeing, that, that's him. The profanity is him as well. Is it? Where is uh, where is Shador? Shador? And this is your quarterback. All right. He's going to have to earn it. Don't believe that. He's, he's going to have to earn it. Yeah, the quarterback's going to have to earn it. The safety made me mad, so I didn't bring him. His, his brother. He's in my doghouse right now. Dion is very blunt, man. <laughs> Dion is a very blunt man. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, when Dion the coach and Dion the man are, are the same person. I believe he treats his sons the way he treats his players. Doesn't mean he doesn't love his sons. Doesn't mean that he doesn't want the best for his sons. But he's going to be straightforward with them. He's not going to lie to them. He's not going to, you know, uh, I think baby them. He's going to treat them like men. And he's like, Shiloh, listen, uh, you you know, if you don't want to come with me, that's fine. You know, I'll, I'll go with you. I'll go with, you know, Dion Jr. and Shador. And uh, you can stay here if you want to. That's Dion. That's who he is. Maybe he rubs people the wrong way. But I think he is very blunt and very honest, even with his son. Even with his son, he's very blunt and he's very honest. And he's not about to sit here and, and lie to him. And, you know, you know, now, again, we don't know. We're not privy to those conversations. But this could be why Shadur, I'm not Shadur, um, why Shiloh feels some type of way, right? Apparently, Shiloh is so mad with his family that he unfollowed all of them from Instagram itself for Deion Sanders Jr. I actually went and looked it up, and he did unfollow them. He's on, you know, he's only following uh, Deion Jr. Shiloh Sanders unfollowed his whole family on Instagram except Deion Jr. IG, I'm still tripping. See, that's the thing. When you are Deion and, and you got him to transfer once, I don't think he's willing to transfer again. I think he feels... He feels like a big deal on that campus. And I, I just don't think he, you know, at Jackson State, I, I just don't think he wants to to leave there. I, I just think he's he wants to be, you know, again, I think him and his brother are different. Shadar is going to do whatever Dion wants to do, but Shiloh is different. Shiloh is not going to just do, now he transferred once. That doesn't mean that he's going to do it again. That's what happens when you, you, you know, you have sons and they have different personalities. You have one who, you know, is with you, whatever it is that you want to accomplish or do. You got the other one that's willing, but he has his own mindset. And it seems like Shiloh, you know, for whatever reason, is choosing to stay. Is But I, I just don't know how long this is going to last. Because he could still end up going to Colorado. Because it's going to be, a, unless they hire a coach that's already on the coaching staff at Jackson State that hasn't gone to, uh, going to Colorado with Dion. You know, if they bring a new coach from the outside into coach, is Shiloh going to play? Is Shiloh going to play for that new coach who's going to change things, right? Is he willing to stay? Or this could be a situation where Shiloh wants to show the people at JSU that he's loyal to them. He wants to show that he's loyal, that he's not trying to leave. That's that could be what it is. He he doesn't want to feel guilty by leaving. He wants to. He doesn't want them to you know to think that oh he you know as soon as they got an opportunity they're out of there. He wants to show a level of loyalty to JSU. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think that Dion is probably confident that Shiloh's going to change his mind, especially if a new coach is hired. And he changes certain things that, you know, Dion did with that with that program. And he's definitely not going to show any preferential treatment to Shiloh. Right. And I think Dion is confident that he's probably going to go to Jackson. No, not just he's going to go to Colorado with him. It's just a matter of Shiloh cooling down. But again, Shiloh could transfer to another school. Shiloh could go, you know. 
He did transfer from South Carolina. He could end up going to another Power 5 school and not Colorado. That's what the whole transfer portal is now, you know? And out of a lot of people in the transfer portal, he actually is some. he has a name, you know? His father's Dion. So he's, he's going to get a look if that's what he decides to do. Ultimately, Shiloh needs to make the best decision for him because it seems like that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to make the best decision for himself and not just go with his dad once again to a different school. I think he just wants to show people that he was loyal to the university and he doesn't want to look be looked upon as a guy that, you know, as soon as they, his dad got a new coaching job, he was out of there. But again, it's up to him, man. Uh, this probably will get patched. I don't know, right? But we'll see. Let me think in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next week.